Hey everyone, what's going on? Here's some audio I'm going to do in post for the video that's coming up. I'm going to put an annotation to the point of the actual video, and you'll see by the title, this is for the Mob of the Dead trailer that they showed after the Call of Duty Championship game. So, that played, and they showed some behind the scenes for Mob of the Dead, and they showed a lot of stuff, and I did a live reaction. I did a live intro too, but that didn't quite work out, so... I'm just going to do this in post. This isn't that big of a deal. I got the actual content from the video, and that's the biggest deal. So, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been busy with school and stuff. And this was a nice little quick short thing I could do. Uh, I didn't want to go frame by frame and analyze everything because it's like... There's a bunch of stuff, and you got a bunch of frames, and people are like, oh, I found everything. Blank. I don't want to do that. I ain't got the time. So it's a live reaction. What I saw, I saw. What I didn't see, someone else will see, and I'll see a video of that. So, thanks for watching this, if I even put it up. But you won't even see this and or hear it if I don't, so it doesn't matter me saying that. But I said it anyway. So, I'll cut to the Mom of the Dead trailer, and I'll see you later. Okay, everyone, the Mob of the Dead trailer should be starting soon. Uh, hopefully, the... Video recording doesn't go out because I'm having some issues while kind of getting this together. So, we'll see how it goes. Mob of the Dead should be coming up soon. Probably after commercial break, I assume, because they gotta have their money. Boom, explosion, kills, RC cars. So yeah, and hopefully we can even upload the video because it is exclusive, so we'll see. I'll render it out, and we'll see how it goes. If I can upload it, I'll upload it. If I can't, I will not, because I don't want a channel strike on my channel, because that is bad. Clap, clap, clap. Can we just see the Mob of the Dead, please? Yeah, highlights. We'll see a video of it later on the Call of Duty channel, I'm sure. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, it's a long outro. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be doing some Skyping too, so hopefully that doesn't distract me too much. Xbox 360 presents a world premiere event. Ooh, ooh, Wonder Weapon, apparently. Tommy Gun, can't wait for that. Thompson, dogs are back. What was that? Mob of the Dead. Aw, yeah. Aw, oh, real-life footage of Alcatraz is so realistic. Where are we going from here? Where Ooh, real-life footage. Ah, oh, scary. <gasps> da -da -da -da. Oh, looks like Baruch, kind of, but it's Alcatraz as a cell. I hope we get to see some actual gameplay footage beyond the five second clip of whatever the heck that was. I don't know what it was. That was kind of weird. It was like the hand thing. It was glowing. That was like Bioshock shock or something. Blech. Ooh. We've seen that screenshot before. That's kind of like the main hallway, I'm assuming. Aw, yeah. Behind the scenes. Yeah. Coming out April 16th. Can't wait. Something as iconic as Alcatraz. You know about this. This is arguably the most famous prison in the world. And now you're in it. Just the Ooh, space, I'm in it. You know, the physicality of it. Because it's quite claustrophobic. It will be quite Even small. Modern day prisons are designed. They really consider not intimidating people or making the spaces, you know, as, as least stressful as possible. Well, Alcatraz didn't suffer from those restrictions. They don't care. Ooh, scary underground tunnel. They did the research. They went out, studied Those Alcatraz, are hooks and zombies. Or internet. They were actually there to feel the environment, so it really sets a mood that gets you... Adam Rosas. Getting more pictures, more dead bodies, that's going to be atmospheric. The, of Alcatraz. the entire island we ended up roughing out uh, in kind of a white box form, and then figuring out what play spaces we wanted to use out of that, what would be the most interesting areas to play in, and the connections Doc. between spaces, and spaces that uh. the public doesn't necessarily get to go into. I hope we get to see some... Okay. Finn. Uh, what's the name on the right there? Whoa, that's, what's with, uh... This is a really good opportunity to really tell something special. Whoa, that's cool. Look at that HUD. That is awesome. Holy crap, that is awesome. 
That better be what it actually is. That better not be a development thing. That looks so cool. Holy crap. I'm the warden's key. Probably an Easter egg. Yeah, it's Easter egg. Something new for the first time. We have actually contextual music that goes off. So that's the that's a first for zombies, um, and it's all based around this horror thriller aspect. Every location will have a specific stinger that you hear when you find Ooh. it, when you discover it. When you I imagine there'll be some ghosts floating around in the background. It's kind of like pop scares. It's supposed to be scary. That's that's um, that's a machine for four machines for four players and some candles. Kind of creepy. Ray gun, yes. I don't get the ray gun that much in Black Ops 2 zombies for some reason. Guys who could really embody someone and then convey emotion. So that's why we went for guys like Ray Liotta. Getting in that kind of guy, you know, we wanted the frantic nature. So he plays a character called uh, Billy Handsome, who's this kind of psychopath who would be employed by the mob. Ah, bullet time. Chaz Palmentary, he plays a guy called Sal DeLuca, an old mob boss. Michael Madsen playing Finn O'Leary. He's kind of worked himself from the floor, you know, from the streets. He's got his hands dirty and the blood and the guts it's a couple pretty of cool. times. And then we We're have Joe time. Mano, and he plays Arthur Arlington, who is uh, nicknamed the Weasel. Those guys, they bring a quality and a subtlety and timing that you can't really identify. That guy has a bunch of spikes through him at the bottom right. I pointed at it like a matter What's with the Finn name, Billy? Oh, it tells you what character you are, huh? That's interesting. Ooh, dogs are back. Oh, whoa. Afterlife to me brings a new element, like a new puzzle element. Forces me to think a little bit more. Or oh, that's weird. Or kind of think of zombies on slightly deeper what levels. the heck? You see clues oh, that's speed the cola? that tell you, ooh, perhaps if I'm in the afterlife, I can interact with this object. Or oh. there's some puzzle going on here that I need to be in the afterlife. So that weird. I a dirty that's a trap. Nice. That is a cool HUD. I'm glad they changed that, if that's what it that's is. A, a that looks cool. Background ...before it turned into a penitentiary. And so we had this kind of backstory, the idea that the warden would have collected oh. Civil War weapons. Ooh, fancy. Aw, oh, yeah. A quadruple barrel shotgun. It's a, it's a fictional weapon, but the idea of the, the combination between a, a blunderbuss and a, and a Gatling gun. And possibly, there might be a way of upgrading it to a more uh, fantastical weapon that the, the players may find. Ooh, fancy. Acid gun. You just went now. There's a uh, one main zombie, one big zombie that's going to come through and, and oh, man. havoc on your life. Boss zombie, he'll fancy. Walk down the perk machine, he'll close the box, so you have to pay to get that open again. So you don't want him to interfere with your process. I certainly don't want him to. I'm going to hurt you. It's a fun challenge. It keeps things moving forward. In terms of perks, we have a new perk called Electric Cherry. Oh. When you reload. Uh, it gives a shock around you, which Ooh. scales over time. Oh, huh, interesting. That's pretty nifty. That's actually a pretty handy perk. So Especially if you get caught when the Every zombies come around you. Huh, cool. There's a new tactic to take, a new experience, a new objective to go for. But there's also this layer of things that we aren't exactly exposing to the players right off the bat, and we'll need Ooh. to be discovered. So let me go. That's a dog that's just kind of standing there. They've showed that several times. Lundergat. Errol's back. This afterlife, it looks so weird. It looks like it's something that you can, um, collect. You see at the bottom right there, there's like a counter. And these fantastic and you pick it up from the box or something. Be, uh, peace with each other in this kind of same world, so it's, it's magical and our team is incredibly excited by it. Wow, that's pretty weird. Huh. Potential, potential. Huh. Aw, oh, yeah. 4, 16, 13. Can't wait, can't wait. Nice, nice. I can dig that. So, I don't even know what to say now. That was pretty cool. It looks like that, from what it's seen from some pictures and that, that they're hopefully going back to a more little classic style map design and that you can actually get around anywhere. I hated that about Die Rise. It was basically impossible to get like back to the beginning in any like timely fashion where it became like a really long process and it was like ugh, I don't want to do that like you had to build the trample steam yeah you had to do that get back to the beginning or you had to use some elevators or 
It was just a bunch of trouble. We actually had to use a trample steam, I think, now that I think about it. That was... No, wait. Uh... No, no. If you didn't, but then you had to use the elevator, and those took forever, and that was an issue. So that, hopefully, is at least... This Alcatraz map is hopefully at least fairly, you know, useful. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm trying to think. It's like... You can actually get from, like, any certain part of the map you want in any, like, decent, timely fashion. I'm not saying I should be able to, like, get from one end of the map to the other in, like, ten seconds. But, I mean, like, I'd like to do it without having to go through, like, a five-step process. I just want to run there. So, that was it. A short little one. Some live reactions. That looked pretty cool. I liked the HUD. That was cool. I'm glad they changed that. It was amazing. They better keep it like that. And then the name thing on the right side, you can see some parts seem kind of like, meh cool, I guess, like, I guess there aren't characters we're familiar with, so they kind of want you to get to know them, I guess, just, you know who they are, know who you are, uh, Wonder Weapon, that quadruple barrel shotgun looked pretty cool, I'm gonna use that, um, what else, I'm just gonna a quick roundup, Afterlife, that looked interesting, um, let's see how that goes, it looks like it's something you can build up, I wonder if you use it when you die, or if that's something you activate, that was just weird, I guess that's kind of like what they're gonna use to tie in with how these older mobsters from Alcatraz are able to use, you know, like, future weapons, because I'm assuming this takes place in the future. It wouldn't make sense to have mobsters in the background. Maybe it does take place in the past. I don't know. It just seemed kind of random. Uh, what else was there? Some dogs. Those are back, apparently. Or at least a dog. I don't know what the deal with that was. They showed that several times. Um, I think they showed the steps for the Easter egg, but I'm not sure if that was just kind of like a troll. So people will be like looking at it and be like, oh, Easter egg steps, what is it? And then they'll be like, you were wrong, those aren't Easter egg steps, they fooled you, ha ha. And you'll be like, no, because we got fooled. And I think new perk that was, Electric Cherry. That's actually a pretty cool perk. That was like, because you know, you'll end up, you get hit a lot when you start reloading in the middle of the zombies. But if you get an electric charge, if you're lucky, it'll kill them and you won't die. So I think that's actually a pretty nifty perk. Um... I don't think there's really much else different. New boss zombie, whatever that was, I mean, looks pretty standard, just a more powerful zombie every few rounds. Uh, I didn't quite hear what they said about the stealing of the perks, so I'll probably look back at it. But I want to do live, just so... I don't want to be one of the people who are like, I know everything about this is on my first go, because I look frame by frame. I don't want to do that, I'm different, I don't care. I ain't got time to look frame by frame, there's a lot of frames, that was like seven minutes. Um... So yeah, I'm excited for zombies. It looks good. I said that about Die Rise and I was wrong. Freaking elevators. Sheesh. That was ridiculous. I'm still not going to get over that. This looks different. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I think... I'm just going to end it there. Why not? This is getting kind of long. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you. I'll try to make some like video in the next week or so. Maybe not actually. I'll try to have some schoolwork to do. I will have some videos up for Mob of the Dead, though, like my first game and such. I will personally guarantee that, because unless you like, you know, technical glitches get in the way. But I will try to. So, um, we'll see. Thanks for watching. If you want to play Mob of the Dead on launch day or any day, message me, comment, just message me at Raging Croissant on Xbox, and we will give it a shot. So thanks for watching. That was Mob of the Dead. If other videos, go watch some more information. I'm not here for info. I'm just here for reactions. That's what I do. So I'll see you later. See ya.